It's a beautiful sunny afternoon here in Piscataway, New Jersey. Maryland rocks and rolls on the big plays to a 48 to 7 win. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Connie Beach, Mason, Bruce, and the gang all the way from the microphone. But Connie, thanks for coming out to New Jersey. See a Maryland win. It was certainly great to see a win. Uh, we enjoyed watching the, the game. They had some explosive drives. It was exciting. There was a little bit of lull in between with the three and outs on both sides of the game. But overall, Maryland came. They played. It was good. It was good. The only bad I guess you're going to take out of this is Josh Jackson goes down in a heap with about 20 seconds left. He got high load by the Rutgers defense about 50 yards back behind us and he comes back on the field with a, a moon boot, a walking brace. So what did Locks have to say about that? Uh, he said that that is a high ankle injury so we're hoping that he will be able to recover from that and take it day by day. Well, usually it's going to take a while to uh, come back from something like that. I guess it looked worse when it happened than a high ankle sprain and uh, yeah, that, that's your big news. The other big news, the one play drives uh, Javon Leak, a, a huge day and a bounce back. And we'll talk about all of that when we come back. But before that, here's a word from Rick Jacklich here on the Big Dog Post Game Show. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jacklich Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Back here on the Big Dog Post Game Show behind the camera, it says 1869, the birthplace of college football here at Rutgers. I don't think they mean exactly here on this AstroTurf. Actually, it looks pretty new and it's spongy. Um, but somewhere in the area, college football was born. Five or so big plays we want to go over. The first one on the 20-yard line right behind me, a quick slant. Josh Jackson throws it to Dante Demas. He goes 80 yards mostly of his running away from the Rutgers defense. He ran right past me. Uh, I think he waved as he the pictures that you could see behind me show uh, it was a, just a great start after losing 59 to nothing. You come back, you win 48 to 7, close to a 100 point turnaround there. Next, you got to go with the fourth down stops. When the game was still in doubt, Rutgers, two plays, fourth and one. Maryland stones them cold. They don't gain an inch. I think that had a large part in turning the game. The one play drives, other than the Dante Dimas pass, uh, I'll take the kickoff. How did you see that while you were bobbling the ball? Uh, you talking about a kick return? Yeah. I, I couldn't even see. I just had my arms open. The sun was in my eyes. I was just like, please let me catch this. But you ran 50 yards to your right and then yeah. 100 yards up field. Man, it was, How did you see? You must have seen the blocking. Was there. Yeah, you know, it was set up like that. It was. The return was set up like that. It just, the timing was a little off because I dropped it. So I just picked it up. And I was like, I got to make a play now because I'm like, you no. Know, so I just did that. You know that you still have a turbo boost when you have the 50-yard line? Is that just something that happens? Are you thinking about that? Like Man, I just speed up? I just run. I don't think about nothing. I just run. Where Javon Lee catches the ball towards the left uh, end zone, runs all the way to the right side, about 130, 140 yards total run. He gets credit for 100 yards. That's the way you start off a half, especially when you have an injured quarterback. Maryland gets the ball back, and McFarland goes 80 down the left sideline. The explosive plays were there. The defense showed up. Yeah, they didn't look so great on the first drive, but after that, a couple of scheme changes, and Maryland shuts down Rutgers almost completely. Looking quickly at the stats, McFarland 88 yards, 80 of them in one play. 
Uh, you have Javon Lake, three touchdowns, 65 yards. Fleet Davis gets eight carries, 33. And Pagrom, on the last time he ran the ball out of the pocket, he runs towards the end zone, the far end zone. It got called back on a penalty, but that looked like the Terrell Pagrom that we saw in Texas. The athleticism was there. Now that run in the fourth quarter got called back by a penalty. That looked like the piggy we saw against Texas. Did, did you feel the burst on that one? Because you really sped up. Uh, I guess you could say that, but like not really, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not getting back. So I feel like, like I told you before, like I feel way comfortable. I had to brace. Lost, you know what I'm saying? I lost, lost a lot of weight too. So I feel back like I'm at the same weight I was doing Texas doing that same year. So I feel back to myself really. You feel, you feel better than you did when you came in for the last few games last year? Uh, physically? Yeah, definitely. Because definitely, like, with the brace, you know, nothing was wrong with the brace, but I feel like it was like helping me secure, but like I didn't feel the same as I was against Texas, you know. Yeah. And like having it off and knocking that weight off too that I had, I just feel better. Um, Maryland out first, Downs Rutgers 17 to 11, 200 yards on the ground, 290 through the air. All around a good day. The only injury is Josh Jackson. Might take him a couple weeks to come back. I expect to see Terrell Pagrom as the starter as Maryland travels to Purdue next weekend. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. I'd like to thank Connie Beach for dropping in. And we will see you on the radio. There's no turf talk on Wednesday, but we'll be back with the Sports Maven before the Purdue game on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. And as always, check out the Young Terps podcast and our new podcast, The Wide World of Wayne. Both are available on terptalk.com. Good afternoon, a happy good afternoon from Rutgers.